Hello property navigators and welcome to another video where we help you navigate the various property markets in Southeast Queensland. The Southeast Queensland region is one of the fastest growing areas in all of Australia, namely because of the nation leading population growth, infrastructure expenditure, surplus budget, low housing construction, and demand for the Sunshine State's laid back lifestyle. We know that between now and 2046, Queensland's population is set to boom, growing from the current 5.4 million to somewhere between 6.4 and 8.27 million. Now that's huge growth. On average, Southeast Queensland is still highly affordable when compared to Eastern capital city counterparts, making it more attractive for investors with more modest budgets in the range of $450,000 to $700,000. However, most LGAs in Southeast Queensland have properties available in these price points that you certainly do not want to be buying for many reasons, including from being flood affected to not being in the right point in their growth cycle. This is especially the case for investors who are currently growing their portfolios and cannot afford to have their serviceability impacted by poorly cash flowed and stagnant or slow growing investment properties. And remember, whilst we advocate and believe in the buy and hold strategy, we want to drive home that as a property investor, you must get the best ROI in the shortest term possible to maximize your equity position, to be able to recycle profits into the next property investment opportunity sooner. The three LGAs we're going to discuss today offer the highest probability of achieving this goal in the first 12 to 36 months, whilst also offering strong future growth prospects. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos, I suggest that you definitely do, as we explain geographically where each of the LGAs in Southeast Queensland are situated, and we touch on broader reasons why you'd want to know that these areas are great as an investor. As you should know, major projects and infrastructure dramatically improve the value and demand for property, and many investors still don't realize what is happening in the areas that they may be investing in. The Queensland Major Projects Pipeline report released at the end of 2022 highlights the key differences in infrastructure projects per region. Now, interestingly, the pipeline highlights that Brisbane's pipeline is slowing, whilst LGAs such as Logan, Ipswich and Toowoomba are accelerating. As we always say, when you're looking to invest, follow the infrastructure trail. Now let's dive deeper into each of these three LGAs. Now we're going to discuss the main demand and supply indicators we believe you should have a clearer understanding about as an investor. Now remember, every indicator that is available simply feeds back into either the demand or supply side of the equation. And if demand is heavily overweighing supply, then you as an investor can confidently buy in these areas for growth and or cash flow. Now the first cab off the rank is Toowoomba, situated comfortably within the lower range of our target price bracket. Toowoomba offers enticing opportunities for investors with properties available from $450,000 to $550,000 plus. If you're eyeing a reliable return on your investment, Toowoomba won't disappoint with yields scaling from 4% through to 5% with single income dwellings. What makes Toowoomba truly unique is its thriving ecosystem of upcoming infrastructure projects, fostering growth and promising a robust ROI. Now to begin with, Toowoomba is set to welcome a state-of-the-art hospital in 2027, a billion dollar plus project that is sure to catapult the local economy. Beyond healthcare, Toowoomba's strategic importance in transport is being leveraged through the Inland Rail project. Now in this region alone, $6 billion is being undertaken that will generate around 7,000 jobs at its peak and it will feature the largest diameter diesel freight tunnel in the Southern Hemisphere. Next, Toowoomba's multiple renewable energy initiatives that are in the pipeline. From the $4 billion McIntyre Wind Precinct, from the $4 billion McIntyre Wind Precinct, from the $4 billion McIntyre Wind pre Precinct, wind. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you. From the $4 billion McIntyre Wind Precinct to the $1 billion Big T Pumped Hydro Power Storage Project, these projects are bound to propel the local economy forward and spawn further countless employment opportunities. Adding more fuel to this burgeoning growth is the major freight terminal set to be built at the Wellcamp Business Park. This facility will occupy approximately 23 hectares and create up to 400 skilled jobs. 
On the horizon, we see the remarkable vision of the Wagner Corporation to develop a world-class aerospace industry at the Wellcamp Airport. This ambitious project, which sees Boeing starting their own manufacturing in the next couple years, will introduce robotic manufacturing plants, research labs, and the construction of cutting-edge military aircraft. Now let's talk about demand indicators. The Toowoomba region boasts a tight vacancy rate of 0.9%. And despite the slower rental growth as of late, the prices remain stable and promising for investors. Property stock on the market is scarce, hinting at a growing demand and ever increasing property prices. Although Toowoomba enjoyed strong price and rental growth during the period, the region still offers affordable options in the $450,000 to $550,000 price bracket. High demand, coupled with the severe shortage of stock and the ongoing development of new homes in the outer Toowoomba region makes this place a prime investment zone. Moreover, the inner Toowoomba suburbs, which are limited in nature, offer investors properties from the 70s and early 2000s, ripe for revitalization and renovation. These properties provide an excellent opportunity for investors to manufacture capital growth and demand rental increases, optimizing their ROI. In summary, Toowoomba's projected population growth of 2.7% from 2023 to 2025, combined with a lower supply of properties and high demand, make it an attractive investment hotspot. The pressure on this market is set to continue over the next 36 months, likely driving prices even higher. So if you've been waiting for a sign to invest in Queensland booming property market, Toowoomba is that green light you've been waiting for. Now let's dive into the heart of Ipswich, our second top pick today. Now this is an attractive opportunity for investors eyeing properties between $500,000 and $600,000. Ipswich has been enjoying substantial growth in the recent years, but still has plenty to offer, yielding returns in the 4-5% to range as well. Ipswich is only 40 minutes from Brisbane and an hour from the Gold Coast. This accessibility, coupled with one of Australia's fastest growing populations with an annual growth rate of 5.38%, makes Ipswich a hotspot for investors. It's projected to surge by 40% by 2041, equating to around 143,000 new homes being needed. Now let's take a quick tour through Ipswich. It's not the tiny town outside of Brisbane anymore. With its thriving connectivity through two rail lines and two more on the horizon, seven highways, proximity to domestic and international air and seaports, esteemed educational institutions like the University of Southern Queensland campuses, an abundance of parks, state-of-the-art hospitals, and the Royal Australian Air Force Amberley Air Base, Ipswich is truly on the rise. But what really puts Ipswich on our top list? Let's look at the infrastructure highlights. The Inland Rail Project, featuring two sections passing through the Ipswich local government area, is a cornerstone of Ipswich growth story. From Helidon to Calvert and then Kangaroo, this project carries a price tag of $2.2 billion and is anticipated to generate 3,400 jobs. This significant infrastructural upgrade, combined with the $250 million transformation of the Ipswich CBD that's paving the way for an array of retail and dining spaces, underscores the dynamic economic development reshaping Ipswich. Now on top of this, we have Coles Supermarket's largest distribution centre, a staggering $425 million investment serving the entirety of Queensland. The Marta Hospital's $320 million expansion and the Ipswich Hospital's $146 million mental health unit expansion further underlines the region's development. Adding to the list is the $330 million Cunningham Highway upgrade and the $50 million Wayneless Waste Recovery Centre. Now all of these contribute to Ipswich's thriving economy, encouraging population growth and increasing the demand for properties. With a vacancy rate at 1%, historical lows in rental demand, and a property market that is at its leanest in over a decade, Ipswich's growth prospects look promising. An anticipated population boom and limited housing stock point to high demand, pushing short-term housing prices higher. Ipswich stands out for its potential to convert single-income properties into dual-income ones through auxiliary dwellings or granny flats as we might know them as. This opportunity to boost cash flow combined with the ongoing projects, affordable prices and high demand makes Ipswich a promising region for investors. Now lastly, but by no means least, we spotlight Logan, another standout region. 
Catering to those with an investment budget between $600,000 and $700,000, Logan presents valuable opportunities for top tier investments. So let's unravel why Logan earns a spot on our list, commencing with remarkable infrastructure and key projects. Topping the list is the $540 million upgrade of the Logan Hospital. As one of Queensland's most extensive hospital expansions ever, it involves a massive $460 million revamp of the building which houses Queensland's second busiest emergency department. The project also includes a new $18.8 million maternity service and a state-of-the-art $61.9 million eight-level car park. Next up, we have the emergence of the $1.5 billion Crestmead Logistics Estate. Now this ranks amongst Queensland's most significant industrial developments. On top of this, we have the concurrent $500 million Maple Tree Logistics Park Industrial Estate and the $60 million development of Barimba Central. Now these large scale projects promise substantial economic surge and employment opportunities. Further complementing this growth narrative are numerous upgrades by the Queensland Department of Transport and Main Roads. Now this includes the impressive $95 million refurbishment of the Logan Lee train station and the Coomera Connector, where stage one is worth over $2 billion and is currently under construction. In our quest to find the best investment opportunities, it's critical to be mindful of potential limitations. And as an investor, it's particularly important to avoid brand new or off the plan properties. Now these tend to come with a premium price tag and you end up investing more in the shiny new depreciating component of the deal, being the house, rather than the appreciating land component. To sidestep common mistakes in these LGAs, let's establish four cardinal rules. Number one, steer clear of greenfield or new estates due to their smaller land size and premium prices. Why does this matter? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Dwellings depreciate in value while the land content appreciates. By letting owner occupiers pay the premium for these properties, they end up inadvertently driving up the value of your established property. Hence, your primary focus should be to maximize land content. Number two, choose established properties with ample land content, ideally 600 square meters or more. These properties offer potential for value addition through auxiliary dwellings or granny flats and cosmetic renovations, thereby stimulating both capital growth and rental yield. Number three, make due diligence your best friend. Utilize resources available on council websites to help you comprehend all the fine details associated with your investment. And number four, don't be speculative. Opt for areas where approved projects are already in progress. Do not pin your hopes on an area solely based on a single key project that might or might not materialize in the future. Now by adhering to these rules, you'll make informed strategic investment choices, yielding the maximum benefits from Southeast Queensland's property market. And that my friends, wraps up our dive into the best regions to invest in Southeast Queensland between $450,000 and $700,000. Now if you've found value in this video, you're absolutely gonna love our Toowoomba suburb ranking. It's a treasure trove of insights into navigating the most affordable LGA in Southeast Queensland. Thank you all for tuning in. Your support truly fuels our drive to produce content just like this. Now we're passionate about guiding you on this property investment journey. So until we meet again, remember, knowledge is your compass and strategy is your map. Happy property navigating.